In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, program a remote. And this is the model number of my remote. And uh, Bright House, uh, Comcast, Time Warner, they're all about the same. This is the one with the light button. Okay, and these are the new ones you get with your uh, cable box, HD cable box, and all that stuff. And if you need an extra one, I think they sell for five bucks at the at the place, at the cable place. All right, and this is how to auto program. So we're going to auto program it. And I'll show you uh, some people on the, if this light, you hit this light and it flickers on and off for twice, that means you have low batteries. So go replace your batteries first before you do this. And see how this doesn't um, flicker on and off twice? So it has good batteries. That's a low battery indicator. <clears throat> so anyhow, um, let's go ahead and uh, go through this. So what you want to do is hold TV, we will program the TV, hold down TV, and OK for a couple seconds. See how it turns red? Now it's going to stay red. And let's do the auto search. So every time I hit channel up, it's going to send out codes for different um, TVs. Like, you know, it could be like um, Sony, Panasonic, Toshiba, um, until it gets to yours. Let's say yours is Samsung TV. And you'll, uh, every time you hit channel up, it'll send out different brand codes until it matches your TV. And how you know it matches your TV is. Your TV will turn off. So I hit channel up, 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 channel up until the TV turns off. Oh, you hear it click. You also, if you pass the code and you went too fast, you can also go channel down, reverse. So it doesn't matter how fast you go, really. There's 200 codes in there. See, TV turned off. And then hit the device key to save it. And that's it. That's how you do it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. And also, here's another trick. So if you hit um, volume up, see how that light lights up right there? And it's like white. That's the infrared sensor. That's how you know that the light is still good. So, you know, sometimes if you drop the remote and it hits the infrared sensor, if it, you know the, um, the remote would be no good if that sensor does not flash white. Okay, got it. So um, if that light does not light up using a digital, your human eye can't see that by the way, only a digital camera can capture that. So use your cell phone camera and, um, and then hit the button and see if you see that a lot of white light in there, the infrared sensor working or not. If not, you just have to call up your cable provider and they might charge you five bucks for a new one. Thanks for watching, post a comment, subscribe.